Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson from the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. Can you believe it is Satisfaction Saturday? It's the day that we have the satisfaction of knowing that God has kept us all week long. And now we're ready to bring this week to a close and get ready to worship him on tomorrow Sunday. Today, if you would look with me into Psalm 89 verses 19 through 26. Again, a psalm about David. Remember, David is the one that we hear so much of the psalms about because it is believed that he did most of the psalms. And in this psalm of David, Psalm 89, it talks about how God has done wonderful things in David's life. Now, remember, God saw David even as a shepherd boy and anointed him to be the next king of Israel. David found himself realizing that God had a place and had a position for him. And for that reason, God does something very special with David. He says, I'm anointing him. I'm going to give him a very special anointing. So David gets the anointing of not only being a shepherd boy, while he's a shepherd boy, he's anointed to be the next king and God has a priestly call on his life. Isn't it amazing what God does with David in this text, that God displays his love love, his confidence in David and moves David because he knew David would put his trust in him. The psalm is so great. In verse 26, he talks about how God is the rock of his salvation. Only a shepherd boy would know about the rock of his salvation. Remember, it was in Psalm 23 that he used those rocks to go out and fight the battle against uh, that big old giant by the name of Goliath. And God knew that he could use David. David used a little rock earlier and then he found out who his great rock was and that God was the rock of all ages. I pray and hope that you will realize that God wants to be not only your rock of ages, but God wants to be your firm foundation that you can build your life on him and what he has in store for you. God bless you. I hope you will have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow morning at worship here at the fountain. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.